Hello Blasters, it's Melinda Sweetman here with you today and I am sharing my latest creation for Colour Blast. Um, I'm creating this page and don't you just love how those colour shimmer paste and the sprays come up on that black cardstock. I thoroughly, thoroughly cannot recommend it enough if you haven't tried it to get your colour shimmer products out. So they're the ones that come in the paste, the shimmer spray, the embossing powder and the um, watercolour cubes or pots uh, and experiment with them on dark or black cardstock. It is amazing. So first of all I'm using a stencil and this colour that I'm using is steel. You can see that I'm having a bit of trouble um, smooshing it through the stencil. This was one of the very first Colour Blast products I purchased and as the tub gets low, the paste starts to thicken up and is getting harder and harder to spread. You can see with the sunshine here um, that it's beautifully smooth and creamy and it just it just smears nicely. So um, once your pots start getting low, use the product so you don't have to throw it out. I think that that's the last time I'm going to be able to use that steel. Uh, so this next colour is Apple of My Eye. This colour is just beautiful. It is a beautiful, bright, almost lime green, and I just love it. Um, you saw in the photo that I shared that this is a really bright layer on black cardstock, and I'm so, I love it. Uh, this colour is the Tangerine Dream. Again, another beautiful colour. Um, Tanisha, I love these colours. They are so fun, so bright. Um, as you can see, I'm scrapbooking a photo of my family car. It is a little bit of an older photo. We got the car in 2012. Uh, and yes, I'm kind of, I'm not playing catch up, but it was on my desk and I thought, hey, I'll scrap it with some really bright, fun colours because the car's silver so I can get away with it. So I'm just moving that stencil around to get the colour spread to a place where I'm happy with it. And I'm just carefully re um, moving that stencil around. Now, I just grabbed a baby wipe, you can see there, and while the paste is still wet, if you're quick and don't rub too hard, you can get the extra paste off without it damaging your page or anything. Um, I think here I disappear, yeah, I disappear quickly and wash that stencil off because I knew I wanted to go back to the steel um, and I didn't want to smudge other colours there because I knew that the steel was going to be hard work for me. <laughs> so I'm literally scraping the bottom of the pot with this one. Um, but I get enough out and I'm happy. I'm going to go over this side. As you can see, I'm just lining that stencil up with what I've already done and just smooshing the colour through. Um, this is such an effective technique. I love it. Absolutely love it. So um, I'm just cleaning off some of the excess from the back of that stencil again. And I'm coming in now with some splatters. I've pulled out the exact same colours in the Colour Shimmer Spray. So uh, steel I've already done, I believe. This is Sunshine, Tangerine Dream, and then Apple of My Eye. I'm just using the nozzle and sprinkling the colour around. I really wanted something bright and fun. And the last one is Apple of My Eye. I seriously can't get enough of that colour right now. I love it. So I've gone away, let that air dry, and I've come back, and it's all dry and beautiful and shimmery. So... I decided that I wanted, to, I pulled out lots of different bits and pieces and thought that it was all just too much. I found this cut file sitting on my desk, so I thought I would try it out, but the white was way too stark against all that colour and the black of the background, so I decided to pull out the steel colour shimmer spray again, grab a paintbrush, and I just literally painted the colour on. I have dried that with my heat tool and I made sure it was thoroughly, thoroughly dry. I wanted it, I, I wanted to keep going with my layout. I was feeling really inspired and was liking where it was going. So I decided that I was going to pop my photo on top of that, completely on top of that circle. I'm just applying my wet glue. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, or Tacky Glue I think it's called now, and just sticking that down. It's really hard to see the steel because it because of all the colours in the background there. Um, it does look white, but it is actually steel. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. Uh, I decided I was going to add some really simple layers, like one layer behind my photo. I've just pulled out some of this tissue paper, folding it up, and I'm going to stick that behind, and then I'm going to mold it 
motive. That's interesting. Mount it on some foam adhesive stuff. You know, that foam stuff that people use. Oh my gosh, I've gone completely blank. The fun foam. Sorry. So just trimming off that um, tissue paper, being fairly rough with it. I thought I was going to leave that torn edge and then I thought I'd fold it and then I decided I was just going to chop it off. It just gives a little bit of separation to all the colours. Adding my fun foam. And I do use wet glue on that as well, just to make sure it sticks. Pop that on top. Use my colour paste tubs as a bit of weight. Um, my title is Zoom Zoom. It is a Mazda. And I couldn't help myself. As soon as I saw this photo when we took it, when we got the car, I thought I'm going to do a scrapbook layout called Zoom Zoom. So here it is. Um, I'm just using some older black stickers from my stash. They don't look really obvious on the video, but they are, they're obvious enough on the page. I've got a flare badge there from Flutter by Designs, some silver thread. I'm just winding that around my fingers to make a little nest. This thread causes me a little bit of grief because it is metallic and it springs and it's going to like stay in shape. But I win. I win, you silly, silly silver thread. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired, and I have a million and one things to do, so please excuse my silliness. Um, that flare just says love. Uh, attach that down. I think this is where I come in. Yeah, so I've got a couple of tabs also from Flutterby Designs, I believe. Again, with the black and white, I did try some other colour things when the camera wasn't rolling, and the there was just it was too much. So I thought black and white went really well. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what they say. I know that this one that I'm cutting out now, I decided not to use because it's too hard to read against all that background. Um, and I swapped it out for another black and white one and I know that says today. So I attach one with my tiny attacher and then attach the other with my wet glue. I'm very excited because once I've done all this, um, I will be getting myself all packed and ready to head to the Brisbane Expo. By the time this video goes live, the Brisbane Expo will have been and gone. But I hope to have lots of inspiration so I can share lots of fun things when I get back. I decided to add my journaling to the left and the right hand side running vertically because uh, I didn't have a lot to say but we were so excited to to I don't know something about bringing the new car home and we love it um, and it it was it's an ex demo Mazda 6 station wagon love it um, I decided I wanted to add some white splatters because why not? So I just grabbed some of the heavy, the white heavy gesso, added some water and sprinkled with my fake brush. I decided again that I wanted a bit more of that steel because that's that silver colour and I really loved how it came out. Here is a close up on the video. I've just doodled at the top and the bottom because I just felt it needed something to close it all in. And it will go into the close up photos. So here again is the page I created. I really love this. If you have not yet got these Color Shimmer products out and played on black or dark cardstock, please do. It's so fun and the colors are so vibrant. I love it. Love, love, love it. Uh, I hope that I have inspired you to get your products out and have a play. Learn what they do and just experiment. It's fun. Um, there will be links and everything in the description box below and I shall see you again very soon. Have a fantastic, happy, messy, scrappy day. Bye!